Welcome to the CSS Project Training Series. I'm Mike King, your host. And in this tutorial, we're actually going to talk about the text transform property inside of CSS. So CSS, the text transform property. CSS includes a property that allows you to transform your text entries. This property, known as text transform, has five values that are available to it. They include none, which means there's nothing that's actually done with the text. It's just left as it is actually entered into the HTML document. Then we have capitalize, which capitalizes the first letter of every word inside that particular section of text. Then we have uppercase, which forces every letter into uppercase. We have lowercase, which forces every letter into lowercase. And then we have initial, which is um, the initial setting with none for that particular text transform. So that's the none property, which is actually none. It's not available. And inherit is um, inherit. Actually, it inherits the properties from its parent element. So again, these are the properties that are available inside text transform. We're actually going to demonstrate these inside of our lab exercise. The browser support for text transform has been supported for quite some time. In Internet Explorer, it's 4.0 and beyond. In Google Chrome, it's 1.0, Firefox 1.0, Safari 1.0, and Opera 7.0. So it's been supported for quite some time in all of the browsers. There really is no need for any fallback on this because most of these browsers, most of the browsers that your users will be using are long past those version numbers. So let's go into our development environment and demonstrate what we've been discussing on using the text transform property in CSS. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop out of my presentation, get into our development environment. I want to confirm that I have my Sublime Text 2 text editor is up and running. I want to go ahead and load up my Apache server, make sure it's up and running, that I've got it actually running in my development environment and go ahead and bring up Google Chrome, which will be my browser of choice for this particular exercise. I've got my CSS start file loaded for the text transform. And I actually have it up and running here. The first thing I would do is let's go ahead and add some paragraph text. So I'm just gonna add a sample paragraph inside my body element. And this paragraph is gonna some sample text for our demonstration on uppercase. And as we talked about in the presentation, uppercase forces every letter into uppercase mode. So we're actually going to do an uppercase transform. In order to do that, let me go ahead and do a save as on this first. I want to go ahead and save this file as 3016 underscore example one. And I want to go ahead and bring up that example one inside my browser window. And actually, let's go ahead and add a heading to this just so that we've got a heading. inside of our browser window. So we remember what we're demonstrating here because we're actually going after the text transform property inside CSS. So the first thing we'll demonstrate is let's go ahead and demonstrate this uppercase, which forces every letter into uppercase. I tend to use this a lot when I'm doing my menus. I'll actually, inside my CSS, force all the text to uppercase for my menu items. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my style tag in the head section of the document. Go ahead and close that style tag. So I've got my opening and closing style tags. And then because we've actually given that paragraph a class, let's go ahead and identify that class inside my styling. So I'm going to say paragraph with a class of upper. Then I'm going to have my opening and closing curly braces. So what I'm doing is I'm actually identifying this paragraph P tag as the selector. And I'm saying any paragraph that has a class of upper, U-P-P-E-R, and that's the actual class that we've given this. And all we're going to do is text transform. And that with a semicolon. And what I want to do is I want to force that into uppercase. So I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. Good time to pause if you want to type this in. When I go ahead and refresh the browser window, you'll notice now it's taken all the text that's inside that sample paragraph that has the class of upper and forced it into an uppercase mode. And that's what text transform uppercase does. It actually forces every character inside that particular text into uppercase. And again, like I said, I tend to use this a lot when I'm doing menu items inside my LIs for my ULs, my unordered lists. I actually tend to force them into uppercase. Most of, most of our menu, menus we want displayed as uppercase text. 
All right, so let's go ahead and look at another example here. Let's go ahead and look at lowercase. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another sample paragraph. And right below that first paragraph, I'm just going to put in a couple lines and paste in this new paragraph. Let's go ahead and do save. Let's go ahead and refresh our browser window. And I've got the second paragraph here. And this one I'm going to actually force into lowercase. And again, pretty much the same thing that we've done in the previous exercise. I'm going to identify my paragraph as my selector. And then I'm going to say anything that has a class of lower, my opening and closing curly braces. And then I'm going to do my text transform. And this time it's going to be lowercase. So it's going to take all the text that's currently in this sample paragraph. And right now, most of that text, by the way, is I'm just going to go ahead and scatter a few capital letters in here because most of it was actually lowercase letters to begin with. Go ahead and save the change. But now when I refresh the browser window, you'll notice everything is in lowercase, regardless of how we set it up inside the document. Because we use the text transform a lower, it's actually forcing everything to lowercase inside that paragraph. So we've demonstrated the uppercase, we've demonstrated the lowercase. Now let's go ahead and look at capitalize, which is kind of unique. I like the way capitalize works inside text transform. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in another paragraph of text. This time I want to go ahead and, and demonstrate capitalize inside of our document. I'm just going to go ahead and put this one up at the top. Go ahead and save those changes. And again, you'll notice we've given this paragraph paragraph, a class of cap, which is going to be our capitalize. This is some sample text for our demonstration on capitalize. And capitalize, by definition, will capitalize the first letter of every word inside the text that it's assigned to. So if I come up in here, I'm going to, again, using my paragraph selector with a class of cap, I'm going to go ahead and open and close my curly braces. I'm going to do a text transform of capitalize. I'm going to go ahead and save all those changes. And by definition, this should capitalize the first letter in every word inside my paragraph. And you'll notice we've got a capitalization of the first letter of every word inside my capital or inside my paragraph. So some really cool things that we can do with text transform. Again, I tend to use this a lot when I convert to uppercase for menu items this way, no matter how I enter in those LI items, it actually forces them to uppercase for my menus because most of our menus we want in an uppercase mode. It's a good way to actually force first letter capitalization if you want to kind of stress something or if you want to capitalize an entire paragraph or an entire sentence. It's a good way of using a span element to, to capitalize an entire sentence to make that stand out in your text. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.